G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Star Citizen 3.20, which is currently still in the PTU. I haven't made a lot of videos covering the PTU for a few reasons. One, there are other games that are taking up my time. Mostly I've been playing Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3, so they've taken a majority of my spare time. Also, there isn't a lot in the PTU that's worth being shown. Most of the changes seem to focus around master modes and how they affect the flight characteristics of ships. Um, I'm not a huge player of Arena Commander. Um, there are a few other modes within Arena Commander that have been added. Um, I haven't played them yet, but I, I might release a video about those. I've also just started streaming over on Kick, so I'll chuck a link in the description to my channel over there as well as my Rumble channel where I have been also streaming. Uh, it'd be great to see some of you guys join me in my streams and follow me on whichever platform works for you. And don't forget there is also the Patreon for those who want to help support the channel. It's only 3 bucks a month and all proceeds will go right back into the channel. Anyway, enough self-promotion, <laughs> let's get into today. Let's get into today's video. So, there are some new salvage missions available on the PTU. These missions are personal missions, and like the less than legal salvage missions, which I've done a video on, and I will chuck a link in the top right of your screen for that, these are being offered by criminal factions. Unlike the other missions where you're given the location of a high value ship to go and salvage, these missions ask you to go to an area and salvage the ship till all the salvage is gone to cover up a crime that's been committed. I only did three of these missions and I was not able to find any of the ships with cargo on board, but that's not to say that they don't spawn. However, go into these not expecting to see any. And if you do, yeah, it's a bonus, right? Currently all of the missions are located around Yella, one of the moons of Crusader. So I would suggest that you move to Crusader, uh, go over to Yella and then grab the missions from there just to save you wasting any of your timer on travel. To get the missions you just need to open your Moby Glass, open the contracts window and select the personal tab. At the bottom you'll see two missions. One will be for a medium sized ship like a Cutlass Black or a, a Constellation and the other will be for a large ship uh, like a Hammerhead or a Caterpillar. I only tried the medium ships as I was playing solo at the time and didn't think that I would have enough time to finish off the ship before the timer ran out. So like the other salvage missions of dubious legality, these missions have a timer. Uh, it's generous and you get an hour. In the missions that I completed I was left with around 20 to 25 minutes on the timer which I felt was quite good. I, I didn't try the larger ships. Uh, I didn't feel that I would have enough time to complete the missions before the authorities showed up and the missions failed and I was killed more than likely. These missions are not quick to complete, obviously. However the payout can be quite good but we will cover that at the end of the video. As I said, I did three of the medium missions, which took about three hours of travel time to the TDD once my vulture was full to sell it all. The salvage does feel slower. It's been a while since I've done any salvage missions like this, however I recall that the cargo area of the vulture would fill up much quicker than it did with these missions. I'm not sure if CRG plan to tweak the missions at all, but I certainly hope that they make it so that it doesn't take three whole ships to fill up the vulture's hold. Anyway, a few tips for making this quicker and more profitable. Use the abrade setting on your scraper. This will give you less RMC but will scrape hull much, much quicker. Ensure you have a multi-tool with a tractor beam. Don't be like me and be forced to create one. This takes nearly a full SCU container's worth of RMC which is worth a whole lot more than just buying one. However, if you do forget, you can just create one so you can move around the one SCU boxes. Avoid hitting the ships you're salvaging. Look, it's gonna happen. I did it a few times, but if you can avoid doing it, then your life will be much easier. When you do eventually hit the ship, don't try and correct it. Just let it come to a stop on its own and leave your beams on it to salvage. This might even give you access to an area you didn't think of to scrape. 
check for cargo on board. I didn't see any, but that doesn't mean it will never spawn. I could just have been very unlucky. And um, remember, you also get to salvage weapons and can sell them, which could net you a little bit of extra profit. Other than that, it's pretty simple. Get the missions, go to the location, start scraping, finish it off, get 80k and move on to the next mission. So we've reached our first target, and this is a Cuddy Black. I'm going to speed things up here because, like I said, it takes a while to salvage them all. And all you really need to do is fly around the ship, salvage everything, and then move on. So what you're looking for is the areas to go from blue to yellow to red. And that means you've salvaged most of the uh, hull off the ship. And just keep on doing that rinse and repeat. You gotta go up and under and, and cover the whole ship. So it is a bit of a involved process. And once we get this one done, We can move on to the next one. So, as you saw with that last one, uh, it took a while, and there were areas of the ship that you just don't think of to salvage. And it does take getting a vast majority of the hull off the ship to do it. So, if salvaging isn't your thing, if you're not a fan of uh, pressure washer simulator, as some people have referred to salvaging, then these missions probably aren't for you. If you prefer something that's a bit more fast paced and combat y, then, then go and do combat missions. But for me, I actually quite enjoy the salvage. It's a calming process. Um, you just kind of chuck on some music and chill out and salvage, right? No one really comes to disturb you. You're in the middle of nowhere around Yella. Unless people are out hunting for you, you're going to be pretty sweet. So I'm going to do this two more times. And then we will cut to the end of the video where I will show you how much profit you actually make. And I'm not going to make you sit through watching me salvage two more ships but I did do another Cutlass Black and a Constellation Andromeda. As I mentioned none of them had any actual salvage in them. When I say salvage none of them had any actual cargo in them to take. I did check every single ship but like I said that could just be me being unlucky. So I will see you at the TDD.
So here we are back on Orison. The TDD is just here and we will see how much money we actually made. So the three missions netted us 80k each. So that's, uh, what's that, 21, 210,000 in the three hours plus whatever we're going to make from selling off this cargo. I did put two extra crates in the back of my vulture that were not on the grid. So I ran into issues selling the uh, recycled SEO and I think that was down to having two units not sitting on the grid. So I wouldn't recommend doing that or maybe there's a workaround I just don't know about. However, had I sold all of the SCU RMC, sorry, that I salvaged, plus the rewards from doing the salvage missions, it's 302,340 Alpha UEC for three hours work, which isn't too bad. So it's about 100,000 Alpha UEC per hour. Pretty good little money-making scheme, if you ask me. It's easy, there's low risk, no competition. There really aren't any downsides. You might, if you had a Vulture, give one of the larger missions a go. I didn't do that, but hey, give it a crack and see how it goes. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. So if you liked this video, you learned something new, uh, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, both of those actions will let YouTube know that this video is worth being shared out to a wider community and will help my channel grow. So yeah, that's, that's it for this one. Thanks for joining me. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.